a 54-year-old Caucasian female, with no past medical history, developed right-sided neck pain. Four days later, a reddish, vesicular rash erupted at the site of pain. She was diagnosed with contact dermatitis at a walk-in clinic. Over a week after the appearance of the rash, she developed a right earache and headache and the rash spread to her upper right chest wall. The rash was described as dull and achy with intermittent sharp pain. Nine days later, at the family doctor's office, examination showed a reddish, vesicular eruption on the right anterior chest, neck and shoulder. The rash halted at the midline of her face and chest. It was tender, warm and blanched when palpated. The patient was diagnosed with herpes zoster and secondary cellulitis. Valacyclovir, an antiviral drug, cephalexin, an antibiotic, and acetaminophen, an analgesic, was started. Twelve days later, she returned with right ear discomfort and difficulty hearing. Examination showed a similar rash along the auricle, but the external auditory canal was normal. Nortriptyline, a tricyclic antidepressant, was started for neuralgia. Fourteen days later, she woke up with partial right-sided facial paralysis. She was brought into the emergency room, where Ramsey-Hunt syndrome was diagnosed. Valacyclovir was extended to 10 days and prednisone, a corticosteroid to provide relief for inflammation was started. A neuro-ophthalmology referral was made. 46 days later, the patient returned showing significant improvement. She could smile symmetrically and close her right eye completely. That was a case history reported back in 2013. Ramsey-Hunt syndrome, shortly known as RHS, is a rare disease affecting about 1 in 20,000 people in the United States. It is a neurological disorder characterized by paralysis of the facial nerve, and a rash affecting the ear or mouth. Ear abnormalities such as ringing in the ears also known as tinnitus, and hearing loss may also be present. Initial infection with the varicella zaster virus causes a disseminated vesicular rash with fever, known as chickenpox. During the acute phase of this infection, the virus is spread by respiratory droplets. After the viremia, meaning the existence of virus in blood, and exanthem, meaning the presence of a widespread rash, have resolved, the virus can remain dormant in cranial nerves and nerves of the spinal cord. During times of physiological stress or immunocompromise, reactivation of the virus within the distribution of the nerve, in which it has been dormant, can occur. This causes RHS. Recently Justin Bieber made the headlines for being affected with this dreadful disease. In his Instagram post, it is observable that his facial muscles, affected by nerve palsy, have become weak, and have resulted in the inability to smile, wrinkle the forehead, or close their eye properly on the affected side. He also said that it is becoming increasingly difficult to eat. In some cases, the speech too might become slurred. Treatment for this condition usually involves antiviral to deal with the varicella zaster virus, high-dose corticosteroids to reduce inflammation and analgesics to reduce pain. All patients recover from Ramsey-Hunt syndrome, the question is, to what degree? Patients who present with moderate paralysis tend to recover to normal function. Intuitively, patients with higher degrees of paralysis are more likely to recover to a degree farther away from normal. Patients who do not recover their pre-morbid function will almost certainly suffer from uncontrolled movements of facial muscles. Clinically significant flaccid paralysis is extremely rare in the long term. Most patients complete their recovery within one year, and often within several weeks to a few months when the paralysis is incomplete, and the patient is young and healthy. Overall, roughly 70% of patients will recover to mild or moderate levels of functioning facial muscles. So yes, looking at the condition of Justin, we can say that he is on the spectrum of a better prognosis. Another disorder similar to Ramsey-Hunt syndrome, which is the Bell's palsy, a non-progressive neurological disorder of the facial nerve. This disorder is characterized by the sudden onset of facial paralysis that may be preceded by a slight fever, pain behind the ear on the affected side, a stiff neck, and weakness and, or stiffness on one side of the face. 
that's all about Ramsey Hunt syndrome. Take care of yourself and your near and dear ones. Our prayers are with you Mr. Justin. We pray for your speedy recovery. See you in the next video.